Pieci. Uzgriez un ir. Pieci LB Pozitīvas festivāls Tudor Cinema Club ir šeit. Tudor Cinema Club, Alex, welcome to Pozitīvas festivāls. Thank you. Uh, it was a second time at the Positivus Festival. Mm -hmm. uh, last time you you were here, uh, you you were such an unknown band, I think. Yeah. Uh, with yeah. only one single release, that something good can work. And even your debut album, uh, uh, Tourist History, hasn't been released no, by that time. No, I think I think this was one of the first uh, festivals we ever played in Europe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But despite of that, you got a very good spot on the second stage. Uh, it was great. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Could you share your bright memories from the last visit? Uh, do you remember that? I yeah, I remember. I remember quite a lot because it was really exciting because it was like one of the first. It was definitely the first festival that we played outside of the UK mm -hmm. and Ireland. So um, you know, for us, it was so exciting being in a new country and um, the festival. I just remember being amazing. It's in such a beautiful place, you know, the forest and and the beach. I remember being on the beach. But nothing has changed. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> it's still beautiful. And um, yeah, I remember the show being so good. It was. It was crazy for us coming all the way to Latvia and people knew our songs. That was crazy. Yeah, it was good. And um, yeah, so that's my it's biggest moving, memory. Mo moving back uh, on, that, on that time, uh, I've heard a rumor that uh, you borrowed the, the money from Kevin's parents to make the first uh, ever Tudor Cinema t-shirts. Is that true? It could be true. I don't <laughs> even remember. I remember uh, there's we a rumor that you, you you didn't pay back them. <laughs> do you remember uh, how much do you owe to to the? I have no, I have no idea. I have no, no I, don't, I remember. I remember those t-shirts got stolen though. Yeah. Yeah. So really? we, yeah. So we never made any money. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, I. I I heard, uh, I've read something somewhere on the internet uh, that the Kevin's uh, grand grandmother is following him on, on Twitter. Is that true? Could be, yeah, yeah, Could I be, think yeah. so. Yeah, I think she reads how, how, his tweets. How old is she? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea, but yeah, apparently she looks at his Twitter and finds out what he's up to. <laughs> so uh, let's, let's talk about the music. Uh, your last record, Beacon, was released uh, last year, I think. Uh, yeah, September. And, uh, it was produced by very well-known guy, Jack Knight Lee. Mm -hmm. How did you guys met? Um, we met on Skype uh, yeah. for the first time. Um, I, I sent him an email in, uh, I don't know, I guess the end of 2011 mm -hmm. and just to kind of say hi and that I was a fan of his mm -hmm. and I sent him some new music and he really liked it and um, so we emailed back and forth and, and then we set up a Skype conversation and the three mm -hmm. of us met him um, online. and. That was it. Like you know, from the first time we met him properly, we just kind of thought this is the guy that's mm -hmm. gonna make. But how is it working with him? It's amazing. It's amazing. He's a great guy. He's, um, he's just he's he's a great friend as well. You know, he became a great friend during the recording process, and he's yeah, he's he's a genius. You know, in many ways, mm -hmm. he can he knows exactly what a song needs, and he knows how to get there. By the way, it's a great way to break up. I think. It's, Thank you. I really love. It. I love this. Uh, as I'm uh, not only the radio guy, I'm, I'm a DJ too. I'm always looking for smart and good remixes for my songs. You've got uh, a countless remixes of your songs. Could you name a few you like you like most? Um, my f my favorite one right now is the uh, the Superpose remix of next Superpo year. Oh yeah, it's absolutely amazing. Yeah. It's kind of got this, like kind of it's almost dubstep, but it's not. And <laughs> but it's really kind of relaxed and kind of ambient and. It's amazing. He's done, you know, things that I never would have thought of with that song. Is there any any DJ or a DJ team would you like to collaborate in the nearest future to make remixes? Um, there's there's a few. I mean, Daft Punk is always All like right, top okay. of the list. Um, I don't know. I love I love a lot of the French DJs. I love Madian. Uh -huh. um, I love uh, Justice as well, uh, mm -hmm. and Daft Punk obviously. Um, yeah, we've always had a very close connection with the French dance music through Kutsune, so... So is, is there any famous musician who would like to play together as a student at Cinema Club? Um, yeah, there's, there's quite a lot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> again, a few? Again, again, Daft Punk. Um, and, uh, you know, Bowie, obviously. Oh, but, yeah. I, you know, I would never want to, like, ruin Bowie's career by playing with him. Um, now Rogers would be a, an amazing right. one. Um, yeah. I, yeah, there's too many, but yeah, that's a few. Yeah. 
Uh, so this time you're going to perform uh, right before the main act, mm -hmm. uh, the XX. Uh, it's, I think it's going to be exciting on the main stage. How do you feel about that? I'm really excited. Yeah. It's it's so awesome to like come here a couple of years ago and no one really knew who we were, and now we've come back and more people know who we are. So. Yeah. Um, I can only expect better things and we're playing later it's always fun to play when it's getting dark and oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah I enjoy really that nice. uh, so thank you for the short interview